Dear friends, today I want to talk to you about the recent legislation that seeks to restrict the rights and freedoms of LGBTQ plus individuals and how we can come together to fight back against discrimination. As many of you know, the LGBTQ community has faced immense challenges throughout history. From legal and social persecution to violence and hate crimes, LGBTQ individuals have to fight for their rights and freedoms every step of the way. But despite these obstacles, the community has persisted and made significant progress towards equality and acceptance. We have seen incredible movements and milestones over the years, from the Stonewall Riot to the legalization of same-sex marriage. These successes were hard to fought and required a tireless effort from activists and allies alike. And yet, despite these victories, there is still much work to be done. The recent legislation seeking to restrict the rights and freedoms of LGBTQ plus individuals is a stark reminder of the ongoing discrimination faced by the community. It is a reminder that we cannot afford to be complacent or take our progress for granted. We must continue to fight for our rights and freedoms just as our predecessors did. But I want you to know that we can do this. We can come together as a community and stand up against discrimination. We can use our voices, our stories, and our experiences to educate the public and push for change. We can work to elect officials who will fight for our rights and freedoms, and we can hold them accountable when they do not. So, my friends, I urge you to stay motivated and keep fighting. The LGBT plus community has overcome discrimination in the past, and we can do it again. We can create a world where every individual regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity can live freely and without fear. We can create a world where love is love and everyone is accepted for who they are.